Hello everybody, it's Dr. Biology here, and this is the AQA GCSE Combined Science Trilogy Foundation Tier Predictions for 2023. So before I continue, I need to let you know that uh, there are no easy ways of doing this. There are things that you can do to try and help yourself, obviously, um, and we'll talk about those, uh, but you are going to need to do the following. Yeah, you're going to need to revise everything. Revise everything. Revise everything. And of course, lastly, revise everything. But don't switch off because there are things I need to tell you about, particularly about the exams last year. So last year, students were given material to show them what topics would be examined. OK, obviously, for you guys in 2023, uh, you're going to be examined on everything. But I think it's, it gives you pointers to where there might be some more questions available in the things that were not examined last year. So if we look at um, biology, so first of all, Biology Papers 1 and 2, Foundation Tier. OK, so you can see for Paper 1, there was nothing on osmosis or active transport. So those, particularly osmosis and the required practical um, on osmosis would be useful. In organisation, there was nothing on coronary heart disease. So definitely learn about coronary heart disease and all the ways of stopping it. So the use of stents. Um, replacement valves, looking at evaluation questions, which is looking at the pros and cons of uh, different um, treatments. And then bioenergetics, uh, there was nothing on the uses of glucose from photosynthesis. And also there was nothing at all on respiration. OK, so no questions on respiration. So I'm pretty sure you, if you revise respiration, something will come up on that this year. Um, infection and response last year, they did ask questions on the whole content. Right, so moving on, paper two, homeostasis, there was nothing on the nervous system, nothing on the menstrual cycle related to hormones, so FSH, LH, um, and estrogen and progesterone, and there was nothing on contraceptive methods either. In variation, inheritance, evolution, there was nothing on sexual and asexual reproduction, nothing on meiosis, um, sex determination, so X, 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 Y, nothing on evolution uh, related to Charles Darwin and selective breeding and also extinction. So those are topics that would be worth your while going through a bit more carefully. Um, and then lastly, ecology. So there was no questions on adaptations. Difficult to revise for adaptations. I would probably do lots of past paper questions. You can use uh, my website that's got lots of uh, booklets there, exam booklets, drbiology.uk. Nothing on deforestation, global warming, and about how you maintain biodiversity. So it was quite a lot of the biology paper that was not examined, so large amounts of content that was not examined. So on to chemistry. Well, unfortunately, last year, chemistry, they had to revise everything, as you will do. OK, and the only thing they were not examined on was the paper two chemistry of the atmosphere. And it was carbon dioxide and methane as greenhouse gases. So definitely revise that section. And physics, lastly. Uh, OK, physics. So again, not much was uh, not assessed, but things like domestic uses and safety. That's a good set of questions there. Particle model and pressure, um, atomic structure, atoms and isotopes. Be useful to know about atoms and molecules for chemistry. And then in forces, OK, it's forces and elasticity. OK, so um, I would definitely check these out first. But overall, you are going to need to revise everything. So here's a few tips to help you with your revision. Um, on drbiology.uk, on my website, uh, which is everything is free. So I've got revision checklists. They're very important for your revision. 
um, past papers and also um, for each topic there are um, sets of exam questions and answers. Thirdly, learn the keywords. I say this every year, but do some flashcards. Learn those keywords. Four has all the GCSE uh, biology uh, playlists, so particularly GCSE biology and combined science. I've got loads of video playlists. Uh, unfortunately, not much on physics and chemistry at the moment, but definitely biology. That Everything in biology is in there. And it's .biology.uk is the best place to find those playlists. Revision tips. Right. Very, very briefly. OK, these are some main revision tips you need to be using these kinds of techniques. So using flashcards, definitely for keywords, definitions, using mind maps. So please don't write out all your notes all over again. Keep it nice and simple. Revise actively. So read it, cover it, recite it check it and then go through that process again until you are completely certain and confident with those topics. Space out your learning. Don't just sit there for hours on end trying to revise. You're going to have to set yourself 20, 30 minute slots and have five, 10 minute break and then then mix it up. Use chunking. Don't just look at one section like cell biology. I would try and mix and match things, okay? Um, there are some ideas on drbiology.uk to help you. Um, you could write your own Q&A. Definitely, though, number seven, practice past papers. I can't stress to you uh, why that is so important, okay? It's because um, they can only ask you so many types of questions. And this spec, this specification has been around for many years. So there is a lots of uh, past papers you can look at. And if you've got a study buddy, that's fantastic. You can teach somebody else. And finally, from me, good luck, everybody. I'm sure you will smash it. Please use Dr. Biology and subscribe and I'll see you soon.